What's up guys, I'm Grunt, and welcome to the 15th episode of Learning the Maps. Today we're going to have a look at the newly reworked canal that came out with Operation Ember Eyes. As always, timestamps in the description. Let's begin. As always, we'll start outside with spawns and exterior cameras. The first spawn is the dock spawn in the northwest. You'll spawn at the end of a floating dock with some submarines off to the left. Up the stairs and off to the right, you'll see a staircase, followed by a tunnel, and if we go further east, we'll be greeted by the northwest corner of the map, where we'll see the yellow stairs window, followed by the area outside of diving and lockers, and then the middle road with the new bridge directly above us. And if we look back, we can see a more concealed pathway to the middle on the north side. On the left of the middle road, we can see the garage. And if we were to keep going, we'd end up at the sailboat spawn. But we'll get to that later. On the other side of the middle road, we can see the two lounge windows. And under those, there's a single window into lockers and a double into diving. Heading back west, we'll find an alleyway up the west side of the building, where we'll find an entrance into the tunnel, which would take us all the way to the sailboat spawn, but it can also take us back to the dock spawn. Heading up the stairs that we saw earlier, we'll find the first exterior camera for canal. Continuing south, we'll find the radio window, which you can also see in the Coast Guard from, and a little bit of the radio hallway. And going south will take us to the next spawn, which is the sailboat spawn in the south. The first thing you want to do when you spawn here is look straight up and take out the camera. If we head up the north stairs, we'll end up at the end of the alleyway that we saw from the dock spawn. as well as the elevated area, and further west there's the staircase into the tunnel. Back towards the building, there's a staircase taking us down to the basement, and then a window and a double door that'll take us into reception. The south side of this spawn has been completely remodeled with a security gate, and on the west side, we'll see the ramp and a staircase taking us back to spawn. We can also see straight down the middle road, and on the east side, we'll see the museum door. And to the right of that, the museum window. The stairs to the left will take us down to the middle road. And under the stairs will take us to another set of stairs that would go back up to the museum door. And it'll also take us to the final spawn. Which is the construction spawn in the northeast. The construction spawn isn't as cluttered as it used to be, but heading up the hill will still give us a good view of the east and north sides. Heading up the blue stairs can give us a decent view onto the green balcony. And over to the south we'll find a couple of pathways towards the museum stairs.
Heading north we can find a door into green stairs, with the garage not too far from that. But directly behind us we'll find the final outside camera for canal. And then we can head back through the construction zone to get back to spawn. Or we can hug the north side and go all the way back down to the dock spawn. On the north side of the building we'll see the kitchen window. And further down, the new bridge above the middle road that we saw earlier. And if we head into garage, we can now go inside to the basement. But first, as always, in the top left you'll see the in-game name of a room, another name for that room in round brackets, callouts in square brackets, and more specific callouts in curly brackets. And we'll be starting outside the garage door. Through the door we'll be greeted by the red stairs, and that's basically it for this side of the basement. So we're going to head out to the area just outside of diving. And we're going to go through the double window, which will take us into diving. Which is so far a very good staging ground for the attackers on the downstairs objectives. It takes us into the basement hallway. And into kayaks, which houses a bomb site that it shares with supply room. It's got a breakable wall into diving, and also takes us into the hallway. And kayaks will also take us into supply room, which houses all three objectives, including the bomb site that it shares with kayaks. It's got a wall into kayaks, as well as one into the hallway. And over in the south corner we'll find pipes which is basically just a closed off little room. Supply also takes us into the hallway, where if we take a right, we can find the door that'll take us up to the staircase, which we saw from the sailboat spawn. Back inside, to the left there's a wall into pipes, and directly behind that we'll find the bathroom, followed by showers, which, combined with lockers, are very important to have control of for downstairs objectives. Lockers has a window, looking out to the diving alcove. It also takes us back into the hallway, which has a wall into kayaks, and one into supply. In the middle of those we'll find the first interior camera. The white stairs will also take us up to the first floor, which we'll get to soon. And Harry Potter isn't nearly as good as it used to be because you can't actually see the stairs anymore. But if we head back to showers, we'll find a secret tunnel that takes us back to diving. Which could be quite useful for a couple rotations. And now that we're back in diving, we'll use the yellow stairs to head up to the first floor. We'll be greeted immediately by a window, which could be used for a spawn peek over to the docks. Continuing east we'll find the blue stairs, which will take us up to the second floor. Which we'll come back to later. There's a little area next to the stairs, with a wall into lounge. And if we head through the radio hallway, we can get into the coast guard hallway. But going back we can get into radio, which doesn't house any objectives, but is usually quite important for a coast guard objective. There's two walls back into the hallway, and the floor is breakable, with the north side being above diving, 
and the south side being above kayaks. There's the window we saw from the dock spawn. And radio will also take us into Coast Guard. Where there's a wall into the radio hallway. And a door into the Coast Guard hallway. Coast Guard also has the first hatch for canal. And it takes us into supply right near the kayak's door. And the majority of the floor is above supply and a little bit of the north side is above kayaks. Coast Guard also houses all three objectives, including a bomb site that it shares with Lounge. Over to the south we'll find Archives, which is directly above pipes. It also has a wall into Coast Guard, and along with Reception, is above the basement hallway. Reception will take us out of the front lawn. And it will also take us into the reception hallway. Where we'll find the second inside camera. Heading around to the Coast Guard hallway, we'll find a wall into Coast Guard. And the white stairs, which will take us back down to the basement hallway. Continuing along the hallway, we'll find Lounge, which has a wall back into the Coast Guard hallway, and two windows overlooking the middle road. It's also got a hatch that takes us into lockers, and all of the wooden floor is also breakable, and it's above lockers. Lounge also has the bomb site that it shares with Coast Guard, and off to the north, there's a wall into blue stairs. There's also another wall back into the Coast Guard hallway. And the floor around the foosball table is not breakable. Now we'll head back to the reception hallway and go across the lower bridge where there's three windows overlooking the middle road. Model room is a great way to stop access from the lower bridge, and it also takes us into the map's hallway. And model can also take us into security, which has a bomb site that it shares with maps. It's also got a breakable wall into the map's hallway. And the door behind it will take us into maps. On the west side is projector, which has a window overlooking the middle road. And it's also got a wall into security. Maps houses all three objectives, including the bomb site that it shares with security. It's also got a wall into security. And the door into the maps hallway. In the back of maps, there's a door that'll take us into kitchen. Which no longer has a bomb site, but is still vital to a maps defense. Kitchen's got two walls back into maps. And the door that'll take us to the end of the maps hallway. Where we'll find the green stairs and the construction door. The green stairs take us up to the second floor, which we'll get to soon. At the bottom of the stairs there's a breakable wall into kitchen. Behind the map's hallway we'll find Museum, which gives you a little bit of extra flexibility when you're holding the map's hallway. There's also a door out to the staircases we saw from the sailboat spawn. Heading back down the map's hallway, we'll find the third interior camera. And the map's hallway also takes us back to model. 
It's also got the red stairs, which takes us back down to garage. And they'll also take us up to the second floor. Where we'll immediately find the final inside camera. Right next to this, we'll find the Renault entrance, taking us out onto the Renault balcony. Back into the red hallway, we'll find the radar door, and a window out to the red balcony. Around the corner to the green hallway is a window out to the green balcony, and further up the hallway we'll find the green stairs. Taking us back down to the map's hallway, near kitchen. Green hallway will also take us into server, which has a bunch of walls into both the red and green hallways. Server also houses a secure site, as well as a bomb site that it shares with radar. It's got a hatch into the back of kitchen, with the east side of the floor being above kitchen, and the west side above maps. Heading into control room, there's a door into radar, and for all the people who used to spawn peek from control, you can't do that anymore. Control also has a hatch into projector, and the east side of the floor is above maps, with the rest of it being above projector. Radar has two breakable walls into control, and two into service. It also houses a fuse target, as well as the bomb site it shares with server. The floor near red door is above maps, with the rest being mostly above security. Over to the south is Reno or Renovations, which has the only external wall on canal, and it's also got a wall into Renault entrance. And it's got a hatch and breakable floor into security. Back into control, there's a window overlooking the Coast Guard roof. And it also takes us through the upper bridge, which has a window overlooking the north side of the map. and one that you can use to look over to the lower bridge. It'll also take us to the blue stairs, which takes us back down to the radio hallway. At the top of blue stairs is printer, which is above the foosball table in lounge. Printer also has a window, which will take us out onto the Coast Guard roof. which we can use to get to the top of white stairs, which would take us back down to the Coast Guard hallway. And now it's time for the roof. We'll start beneath the yellow stairs window in the northwest. Canal's roof actually gets quite a bit of use, unlike most maps on Siege, as there's a bunch of doors, windows, and walls that you can use to access the building. You can get on top of white stairs, which isn't nearly as useful as it used to be, but I guess you could still look into control or down into projector. You can also get on top of printer,
which we can use to go across the upper bridge to get up to the east roof. Dropping down onto the green balcony, there's a little ramp above the construction door. And the green balcony also has the green window. And takes us around to the red balcony, which has the red window. And this little part that sticks out is directly above the museum door. Heading over to the Renault balcony, it's got the door into Renault entrance and the Renault wall. And the lower bridge will take us back to the Coast Guard roof. Now for objectives, starting with bomb sites. The first pair is in server and radar. The second pair is in security and maps. The third lot's in Coast Guard and Lounge. And the last pair is downstairs in kayaks and supply room. Secure sites now. The first one's in server. Second one's in maps. Third one's in Coast Guard. And the last one is down in Supply Room. And last, and always least, hostages. The first hostage is in Radar. Second fuse targets in maps. Third bullet bags in Coast Guard. And the last sacrifice didn't get to go kayaking, so it got left in supply. And that's it for Canal. After this, there'll be the usual peaks, runouts, and useful rotations compilation, where you'll see the attacker's perspective first, followed by the defenders. The next map will be Theme Park when it gets its rework slash buff next season. And until then, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you on Theme Park.